good morning dear students in the last few classes you have been hearing my sound isn't it so now i am in front of you to take the class so let me introduce myself i am your new english teacher my name is harida so due to covid 19 we are learning through the online isn't it do you like this type of learning yes some of you why yes you are staying the home at the home and you are enjoying at your home isn't it so but i can't see you all in my classroom so i am eagerly waiting you to see in my classroom i hope you all are fine the so in the last few classes we have been studying about the story yes good the island so in the island we meet the fisherman and his wife so you remember then what happened yes the fisherman and his wife lives in an island that was a lonely island and then what happened say the story yes after that he got the mirror then he thinks that who thinks that yes the fisherman thinks that it was his father why did he think like that yes good he has not seen his father before and he thought that it was his father isn't it so you remember the story after that what happened yes he took the mirror to his house and then he showed the mirror to his wife then he his wife think that thinks that come on yes his wife think that it was her mother isn't it so they quarrel each other they started to fight each other isn't it at last what happened yes good the mira fell down and started to and the mira fell down and broken into pieces isn't it so you remember the story in the last few days we have been studying the story i am lecturing and you are taking notes isn't it so today i will show you a video of the story the mirror do you want to see it yes so listen to the video okay we have mobile phones laptops smart boards and many other gadgets today which make our life easy and comfortable but there was a time when people didn't have any of these this african folk tale describes a humorous incident that happened at a time when people hadn't even heard of many of the things that we use now long long ago a fisherman and his wife lived on an island it was a lonely island the only way the islanders came to know about the world outside was through the ships that passed the island the sailors in the ship threw old worn out toothbrushes broken buckets torn shoes etc into the sea when these things came ashore the people of the island collected them the people of the island led a quiet and simple life they had no electricity no phone no television no newspaper they had no hair brush nor mirrors either one day the fisherman was walking along the seashore after the death of his father it was for the first time he was going out my father you love me very much my dear father now you are in the heaven 
I love you very much, my dear father. of light fell on his eyes. Something shining was lying on the sand. He picked it up and looked at it. He had never seen such a thing before. He saw a face in it. He was scared. He threw it away. But after a while, he walked towards it again. He picked it up and saw the face in it again. Yes, my father. He had never seen his own face before. He thought it was his father's face. Father, where are you? Dear father, are you okay? Will you come back? He thanked God for sending his father's picture. He held the mirror close to his heart and went home. The fisherman reached home and called his wife in excitement. Hey, woman, come here. Hmm? See, who's there in it? Oh, my mother. She looks so young. Where did I get this from? Mother? Who's mother? It's my father. Are you joking? It's my mother. <laughs> the fisherman turned the mirror towards his face. There is something wrong with you. You are going crazy. I will never show you this again. They started oh. battling for the mirror. The mirror fell down on the floor and broke into pieces. They stopped fighting and looked at the pieces. The pieces reflected their images. Okay, welcome back, dears. So you have seen the video, isn't it? Did you like the video? Yes. I hope you have seen the video and enjoyed the, seeing the story. So in the last of the story, we, uh, how the story ends? Yes, the story ends by in the sentence that the pieces reflected their image, isn't it? So it, what, after the story, you have to write the conversation. You have an activity related that in page number 13. Okay. The story ends with the sentence, the pieces reflected their images. The fisherman and his wife did not speak for some time. Then they started a conversation. Write the conversation between them. So, you have to write the conversation between fisherman and his wife after the story we stop the story were yes the stop we stop the story like that the pieces reflected their images after that you have to write the story or you have to write the conversation between fisherman and his wife okay do it in your notebook write it neatly in your notebook and send to me okay Thank you children. I hope you have enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you children.